right to equality. To be free from discrimination and to be free from laws and government action that put certain people at a disadvantage. Equality rights are found in Section 15 of the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, which make it very clear that every person in Canada is equal under the law. What does the right to equality mean? The courts have had a hard time coming up with one clear and obvious explanation for equality and discrimination. That's because the law sometimes does treat people differently, and this is not always discrimination. For example, the government gives driver's license to people who pass the driving test, but not to those who fail it. It provides certain benefits to people who lose their jobs, but those same benefits are not available to those who are employed. Each of these scenarios is an example of different treatment, but are these examples of discrimination? A Supreme Court case called Quebec and A from 2013 provides some guidance on this question. In this case, the court said a government law or action is considered discrimination if it does two things. First, if it sets out a difference that disadvantages a group based on a number of grounds, including race, religion, and physical disability, or the difference is based on some other personal characteristic that is hard to change, such as sexual orientation, citizenship, marital status, and indigenous residence. Discrimination can also be a result of different treatment based on the intersection of any of these grounds. Second, if the disadvantage reinforces stereotypes or it makes the person or group situation even worse. In other words, a government law or action is discriminatory if it adds in a negative way to the discrimination or disadvantage that a group may already be facing. Discrimination is not just about bad intentions or bad attitudes. It doesn't matter if the government did not intend any harm. If the government law or action has a discriminatory impact on a person or group, this still counts as discrimination. We know that certain groups have faced discrimination in the past for example, Black and Indigenous people, women, LGBTQI people have all faced historic discrimination. This is something we should be aware of. A government law or action that makes things worse for these groups may well be discriminatory. Just as treating people differently is not always discrimination, treating people the same does not always achieve equality. There are some situations where treating everyone the same might actually lead to unfair results. For example, suppose you broke your arm and could no longer write with your dominant hand. If a school gave everyone the same amount of time to write a test and didn't give you extra time or an alternate way to provide your answers, you would not be getting a real chance to finish the test like the other students. Providing accommodation in this way for students with different needs would give everyone equal access to education. This understanding of equality is known in some places as equity, but the Supreme Court of Canada simply refers to it as equality, or substantive, meaning real equality. Why are equality rights important? Equality rights are very important because, according to our courts, equality is the foundation of a just society, which allows every individual to live in dignity and in harmony with all. Equality is important because every person is a human being entitled to dignity, worth, concern, respect, and consideration. The right to equality in Section 15.1 of the Charter is aimed at eliminating barriers faced by certain people. Every person should be able to gain real access to what others have basically available to them. And every person is entitled to equality, human dignity, to reach our full potential and to live our lives freely. Thank you.